Power Rangers. Look at this mom and her son. So I lost an hour of work just to come here and wait till 9.30 just to pick up the Saba sword that they wanted. You got it? Millions of kids watch the television show and get their parents to buy the toys. But critics point to the violence and they say this is a bad message for children. No matter how the producers try to package if it. If you're in the right, it's okay to use weapons. It's okay to use force. It's okay to hurt, to maim, to kill. And that's a pretty sad message to be giving children. At the end of every show, there's a public service announcement that says to kids, all right, this is real, and this is not. The kids may or may not hear those messages, but they are watching, and they are buying. Stores are expected to sell a record $1 billion worth of Power Ranger merchandise this year. Well, Thanksgiving's team, the Detroit... First, they watch them. Then... They imitate them. Kids around the world obsessed with Power Rangers, today's hottest heroes on TV and in the stores. But are they good for the kids or a lesson in violence? The controversy over Power Rangers when 2020 continues after this from our ABC stations. Summer movie sweepstakes is heating up. Now get ready for some mighty morphin mania. And the big Hollywood question is can these teen heroes unmask the Cape Crusader at the box office? Robin Carter reports they're not worried. They're mighty, they're morphing. And ever since they hit the small screen two years ago, these teenage superheroes have ruled kids' TV and sparked a billion-dollar marketing phenomenon. Gotta love it. It's got everything in one show that a kid could want. It's fast-paced and it's action. And, you know, how can you go wrong with that? Right. Now they get a go at Hollywood, add some big-budget effects and an evil, oozing villain. And just like the series, there's plenty of high-kicking karate hijinks. In our civilian clothes, all the civilian fights are in it's the, us. Uh, mm -hmm. All the fights in the costumes are in the stunt people who did an amazing job. But it was the new costumes that gave the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers a power challenge, weighing a mighty 40 pounds each. They gave the Rangers a more muscular, pumped-up look. It's like, get me in the thing, you know, it's just like, took hours. <laughs> But not everyone is a Rangers fan. Some parents and experts think these good guy teens are too violent for kids. The TV show has been banned in countries like Canada and New Zealand, but the Rangers say their message is positive. A lot of people think, you know, oh, martial arts, a kid's show? Oh, that's violent. That's got to be violent, you know? But they don't watch it. We're a positive role model for the kids, and we teach them right from wrong. And they are no longer just role models. One ranger has become a breakout heartthrob. 20-year-old Jason David Frank was named one of People Magazine's 50 Most Beautiful People. But he's not letting that go to his head. I'm just so excited to be here, and it's my dream come true, you know? Robin Carter, Fox News. Well, here's one thing the Power Rangers don't have. Their own cereal. Spider-Man does. He's more popular than ever because of the new Fox TV show on Saturdays. So now there's a breakfast cereal. The crunchy part is shaped like little spider webs, and it's got colored marshmallows shaped like other Spider-Man symbols. It's the most popular children's show of the decade, and if you're a parent, then you know what program we're talking about. The Power Rangers, of course. So get ready, Mom and Dad. The Power Rangers' first movie opens this week. It's sure to cause an outbreak of mighty morphin mania. It's morphin' time! Stop the power! They're mighty, they're morphing, and now they're a movie, and kids can't wait. I like Power Rangers, and about every day I watch it. I think it's going to be a lot better than the TV show. They always win. Power Rangers! The mighty Morphin Power Rangers have kept kids mesmerized in front of their TV sets ever since it debuted two years ago. And Suzanne Todd, producer of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie, thinks fans are going to be blown away by the film's special effects. We like to call it the Star Wars interpretation of the film. You know, I hope that it's as entertaining as a movie like that. The special effects are not the only things that have been upgraded for the film. The Power Rangers also have new costumes, sets, and new villains to save the universe from. The name was Ooze. I am Ooze. We wanted to make sure that the movie delivered something new and exciting and imaginative and something that would spur in children that idea that they should 
believe and they should imagine and they should fantasize, you know, in that way. Rangers, you must act swiftly. The planet is in grave danger. All of the kids' favorites are along for the ride and they haven't lost anything from the series, including their trademark karate skills. Although the Power Rangers have been considered too violent by some TV watchdogs, Suzanne Todd believes the karate fight scenes between the Rangers and monsters are harmless, if not educational. There's something really great that happens to little kids that take up martial arts, and millions of little kids have because of the television show. Martial arts really teaches kids a self-discipline. But the filmmakers hope not so much discipline that kids will see the movie just once. The producers of Power Rangers movie are apparently counting on success. They've already started work on the sequel. No, no, no. The movie, and it's about as close to vaporware as a motion picture can possibly be. Telling kids this is a movie is like feeding them styrofoam and telling them they've just had a hot dog. The story is about six teenagers who seem to have been born without families, ideas, opinions, or feelings. They're like little overtrained Olympic champions who can skydive, skate, and practice karate, but are completely devoid of anything resembling a personality. Catch you on the flip side. Their assignment, protect the city of Angel Grove from an evil menace that has been buried for 6,000 years inside an egg. Ew, gross. Too kind. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the galactically feared, globally reviled, universally despised. They call me Ivan Wu. The Power Rangers are boring enough when they're teenagers, but then they morph into interchangeable faceless beings who go into action like robots. I guess the message here is, don't be an individual or have ideas, just be a good team player. Have a nice trip! Watch the birdie! <laughs> Bye-bye. Gotta love it. Another threat, big animated mechanical monsters, a scorpion and a hornet, who reminded me of the golden age of bad Japanese monster movies. Power Rangers fight them in animal-shaped battleships called Zord. Check it out! Ninja Zord! Cool! Right. Yeah! Awesome! What depressed me the most about Mighty Morphin Power Rangers is the movie's utter lack of imagination, intelligence, and cheerfulness. The movie is aimed at little kids, and it presents the world as a place filled with ominous, evil threats. The only response is to merge your identity with a faceless mob and then fight back using violence. There was no humor in this movie, no wit, no optimism, nothing to think about, nothing to feel good about. It paints a horrible, empty picture of a world in which people are products, and it exists only to promote the Power Ranger merchandising empire. It's a complete waste of time. I didn't think the back half, the fighting between the spacecraft, both these uh, mechanical scorpions and the Rangers aircraft, uh, was bad at all. I actually thought that was pretty good high-tech stuff. It's the kind of stuff I would have enjoyed as a kid and I did enjoy those Japanese monster movies as a kid. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is better technical quality than that. But my big complaint is to get to that exciting stuff, you gotta sit through an hour of absolute boredom. And mm -hmm. the real loss was that the six kids have no personality. No, I, mean, I would think that if you're starting it out, that what you do in writing a screenplay is write little personalities for each of the six kids. Mm -hmm. I mean, at this level, the four uh, turtles, if that's how many there are, are really <laughs> complex, psychologically interesting characters yeah. by comparison. That's where they really <laughs> fell yeah. down. Yeah, you're